The Kite Festival at Grand Haven returns this weekend following cancellations due to COVID-19. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm News 8 Digital Anchor Luke Blaster here from the Wood TV Live Desk. Joining me this afternoon is co-organizers Eric Wolf and Anne von Dreikska with more on the event this week. And to the both of you, good afternoon. How are you? We're good. Thank you. So let's just start with some of the preparations here. How are those going here as we head into the weekend? Things are going great. Our, um, we'll start staking the field out in a little while. We've got three fields, Luke. We have a field for single line kites. We have a performance arena where we'll be flying kites to music, so kite ballet. And then we'll have another field staked out for very large show kites. So we're busy at the beach. And the kite ballets are with sport kites choreographed to music. Very nice. How excited are the both of you, and I'm sure everyone is, just to be back this year? Well, I've been coming to Grand Haven for the Kite Festival for 34 years. So losing two years to COVID was kind of rough. So me, I'm pretty excited. Me too. Um, I've been coming to, I've been a part of the festival for 20 years or so. Uh, so it was tough to to lose those couple of years, but we're just happy to be back. And we expect lots of people coming out. We expect a lot of great performances from our kite flyers. I mean, everybody is just thrilled to have their kites back in the air. If you are someone like me, for example, who has never been to this event, how would you explain it to them? Um, well, kite festivals that are organized uh, have areas for different kinds of kites and performances, just like what we're doing. And the center stage, which we call our performance field, which is where the sport kite teams and demonstrations will take place is normally kind of the middle of everything. And the sport kite demonstrations are very dynamic. Sport kites can fly at forward speeds of 50 or 60 miles an hour and be stopped and landed. So the choreography can get very interesting. And the giant show kite field, again, weather permitting, we need, it can't have too little, can't have too much. Um, there will be some kites that'll be as long as 90 feet long. They're inflatable. Uh, they, many of them look like sea creatures. They're really quite spectacular, almost like uh, hot air balloons. Uh, it's really quite a visual treat, and uh, there'll be something in the air to watch from 10 to 5 on Saturday and 11 to 5 on Sunday. I think, Luke, what's um, exciting is when Eric is talking about sport kite teams, that's anywhere from you know, three people and more flying together. We have a team of six from Detroit, Michigan. We have a team of six from Chicago. We have a couple of super dynamic, uh, very captivating pairs that will be flying as well. And these just aren't things that you see in the park at the end of your street. You know what I mean? It's unique and wildly interesting and uh, takes a lot of talent and practice on the parts of the flyers. And of course, our main goal is to, you know, entertain everybody who's coming out and show them things that you just don't see every day. After the pause that we have seen here over the past couple of years, what has been the most difficult part about the return of the return you know we we know the drill so the return has been actually less demanding in certain respects than when we originally took the festival over from Mackay in in 2019 what is one thing and this is a question i guess directed to the both of you what is one thing you're looking forward to the most this year 
Um, I think for, for both of us, you know, since we've been such an intrinsic part of the festival for a long time, um, uh, you know, the Kite Festival, we're a kite family. So not having seen uh, kite flyers from areas of Michigan or, you know, um, California and other pl places where the flyers are coming in from to not, uh, we, sure, we've seen them on Facebook, you know, and communicated via text, but to be able to see our kite family in person, uh, I, I think is going to be really exciting because uh, we we have been through, you know, prior to Eric and I taking over the festival in 2019, Matt Kite here in Grand Haven uh, ran the festival for 30 years. Uh, then when they retired, Eric and I took it over. So this isn't anything new to anybody. Everybody who's coming and performing has been coming to this festival for a very, very long time. Yeah, it's interesting from the traffic on our Facebook page, which is just the Kite Festival at Grand Haven. Um, we're getting actually more traction than we got in 2019. So clearly, like us, a lot of kite flyers and people who've come for years to spectate are going to be here this weekend. Erica, you may have made a mention of it earlier, but how many kites are expected this year? Oh, that's that's very difficult because there's a, you know, other than the areas that we have staked out for our various performances, there's a whole lot of beach where people just come out with their families and fly kites. Of all kinds. Yeah. Right. So and as, as far as our professional sport kite flyers and our show kite flyers, you know, we're going to have in the range of 40 plus people that are specifically here to perform for the festival in some way or another. And when Ann says it's, a, it's really like a family, well, our the team, sport kite team that I captain, which is the Chicago Fire kite team, we've been around for 35 years. Um, and this iteration of the team, speaking of family, has all three of Anne's adult children, plus her husband as part of the team. So it really is a kite family here. <laughs> One more question towards the both of you again personal favorite parts of of mm. uh, the kite festival here loaded uh, question but if you had to choose that's, 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 a oh, that's easy for me um <laughs> if the weather is nice and it's sunny and we have a big crowd when the team finishes a demonstration and we get a round of applause from hundreds of people it, it, you know it just feels like everything is right <laughs> Yeah, and I think for me, the, you know, the most gratifying part is just, again, our kite family coming together, the, the super positive uh, comments that we've been getting on our Facebook page from strangers who are so looking forward to it. And, and just knowing that, you know, we're, we're, we're bringing something here that just brings so much joy to just loads of people. You know, and the other thing is a couple of times, you know, throughout the weekend, uh, we have fun things. We have a candy drop for the kids. And but we uh, literally drop a bunch of candy from kites. Um, uh, we're looking forward to that. And, you know, you know, we've gotten a lot of support from here in Grand Haven. We've got some great sponsors who've come forward to, uh, feed the flyers on the weekend and supply the candy and supply the beautiful event shirts that we're sporting today. So, um, uh, and we're, we're, we're just, the whole thing is just kind of a big package. Look, it's, it's hard to really pick one thing, but. Well, and the wonderful thing about one wonderful thing about this year's festival is we are putting it on based on donations all from local Grand Haven businesses this year. Eric, Ann, I appreciate your time. Anything else that you guys would like to make mention of? 
Well, the weather looks like it's improving, so we sure hope we'll see everybody out there. Yeah, and we do want to say, you know, we don't have a we don't have a set schedule. Uh, the flyers want to fly, so if the wind is there and the rain is not, uh, expect to see us in the sky and, and follow our Facebook page because uh, Luke, that's where we're going to be putting all of our updates um, regarding. Uh, you know, if we're not flying, if it's pouring rain, as an example, I don't want to say those words out loud, but we're going to go ahead and, and post everything on that Facebook page so people are aware of, of what's happening. So we're looking forward to an amazing, wonderfully perfect wind weekend here in Grand Haven. Anne and Eric, I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Luke. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a look at the Wood TV Live Desk. If you're just now tuning in, there's a link here. If you're viewing on Facebook, it takes you over to woodtv.com. You can view our full conversation there. This has been a look at the Wood TV Live Desk. I'm News 8 Digital Anchor, Luke Lester. Have a great afternoon.